I am not a teacher. I stopped using the word teacher because it was a while back where somebody asked me what it means to teach somebody something, and I really couldn't answer that question. So I asked two questions whenever I have this talk. Number one, where does learning occur? Somebody always says everywhere. Isn't that kind of utopian? Learning happens in the brain. It's the only place where it happens. So I kind of learned that lesson my first few years teaching that they weren't learning in the space between my mouth and their ear. So what I started to think of is what are other words that could kind of encapsulate what I was doing in the classroom. And it came to me one day in a brilliant flash. I am a foal. Wouldn't you like to be a foal too? Foals are facilitators of learning experiences. And what they have learned is that the knowledge piece is the easy piece. The knowledge piece can be Googled at this point, there's a video for it, and whether they're receiving it out of your mouth or in a video, the actual retention and the acquisition of skills is very low. So what I started learning how to do was to create an atmosphere in my classroom where we were creating using content hence the flipping videos. So start using the term full, be a facilitator of learning experience. I ask you another question. How long can a kid pay attention? And I always get this answer. Someone learned in some college class many years ago, they go, you take the age of the individual and then you take half of their age and you add them. So a 16 year old, 16 plus eight, can pay attention for 24 minutes. And I'm like, what are you, cray cray? Have you ever watched a kid play Xbox? A kid can play Xbox for like 13 hours and soil themselves and not stop. Kids can pay attention. Adults can pay attention. It's evolutionary. It's built into our systems. We want to be in flow. We want to be engaged. We want our attention to be harnessed. So that's our job. Rather than being a musician in your classroom, be a conductor. Create an experience of production. So instead of the kids just receiving content, they're making content. Have them make websites and podcasts and videos. Have them draw comic books and uh, write public service announcements and do all of that stuff. Wrap up your traditional literacy in those projects. So when kids are writing and they're reading and they're researching, they're doing it for production. The content becomes part of the meal that they are cooking rather than the meal than that they are eating. Be a facilitator of learning experiences and stop being a teacher. I beg of you. All right, guys, where attention goes, energy flows. We'll see you next time that you press my full buttons.